Hey guys, it's Mr. Viewer Man. Today I have a review of the brand new iPod Touch 4th generation. This is going to run you $229 for an 8GB model, $299 for a 32GB, which is what I have here, $399 for a 64 Here we have the front facing camera, which is used for FaceTime. On the back here we have the camera and the little microphone here. Now the camera it actually records in 720p, but the actual picture taking portion is less than one megapixel. The sleep wake button is actually moved to the top right hand side. It's kind of on the edge here, so it's not, you know, on the top like you're used to. It's kind of on the, you know, slanted on the side. Kind of have to get used to it, but it's still very easy to press. Here are the new and improved volume rockers. Just like the sleep and wake button, it is kind of slanted on the side here. And they also went ahead and make it two separate buttons. On the bottom here we have the headphone jack, the dock connector, and now we actually have a dedicated speaker port just like the iPad. And once again everything is kind of slanted, the headphone jack is slanted, and so is the dock connector. The actual screen itself is actually the brand new beautiful retina display. I mean I have no complaints about the screen, I mean the quality is fantastic. It comes pre-installed with iOS 4.1 which includes Game Center. And being that this is the new iPod Touch with the front facing camera and the back facing camera, it also comes with a FaceTime and a camera app. Now for FaceTime, for the iPod it actually uses just an email address. So if you wanted to call someone with an iPhone 4, you could actually just type in their phone number. But if someone with an iPhone 4 wanted to call you, they would just have to type in your email address. And no matter what, you have to be connected on Wi-Fi for FaceTime to work. Speed wise, it has the new Apple A4 chip. So it's very speedy, overall about the same speed as an iPhone 4 and the iPad. This is a very thin device overall. As compared to the iPod Touch 3rd generation, it's not much much of a difference size wise, but I will ha I'll show you here. Here's the iPod Touch 3rd generation, So, but size wise, thickness, it's not much of a difference, kind of hard to tell, but it is noticeable in your hand. The overall picture and video quality is really good. The video quality, like I said, it actually films in 720p at 30 FPS, but the camera is actually less than one megapixel. Here's just some sample pictures. You know, I went outside, took some pictures, came back in, took some pictures, just to show you guys the quality of it. And here's a quick sample of the video quality. Here's just another test of the video camera. This is some flowers, some bright colored flowers, or yellow. Just to see how the quality is on the iPod. Get a kind of a close up. And there we go. All right on the screen, it looks great. So we'll see how it looks like on YouTube. If you want to see more quality text, just click this annotation right here. And it'll bring you to a video that was dedicated just, you know, for taking pictures and video with the new iPod. So that's pretty much it. Overall, I mean, this is just a fantastic device. I highly recommend it to anybody that doesn't have an iPod Touch. Or even if you do have an iPod Touch already, this is a great upgrade. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.